Hello everyone, welcome back to the last in the series of the videos for PSO2 NGS where we look at the Ryuka device locations and region mags. So we've previously done the other three regions which are the Ilio region, the Ritem region and the Caveris region. So if you haven't checked them out yet, just go and check on my channel. There are videos for those regions that cover all the region mags for those locations. So for today's video, we're actually going to be looking at the the last release region for PSO2 NGS, which is the Steer region, which is this region in the northeast. So to get into the Steer region originally, you'll actually access it from Aelio, so from Halfia Lake. So where I am at the moment is I'm in front of the Ryuka device at Halfia Lake, and you'll access it from this bridge here. So what you want to do from Halfia Lake originally, you want to run northeast to the bridge. So in this video, we're just going to be covering all the locations for the region mags and the Ryuka devices in Steer. So Steer is an interesting region because it's much smaller than the other regions. Um, there's actually a lot of it that's not really accessible. And there's not actually that many Ryuka devices in the region either. So just keep heading northeast and eventually you'll come to like a ridge that overlooks the beach. So this big volcanic region in the distance is the steer region, so that's where you want to be heading. And you can see straight away, straight in front of you, is the tunnel, like a bridge tunnel. And this is the, the way you actually get into the steer region originally. So once you get into here, you'll be you'll get a prompt that'll ask you if you want to go to steer. Just say yes and your character will run across the bridge and from then you're in the Steer region. Should probably just note, just for, for reference, that you can't actually access the Steer region until you've got to it in Story. So you have to do the Aelio, Retem and Caveris part of Story first. You'll get a prompt when you can go to Steer. So when you arrive in Steer, you'll enter into this area which is the, I believe it's called Grainer Coast. Yeah, the Grainer Coast here. And as you can see on the left straight away, you've got one of the Ryuka devices for Grinacost. So, again, just I pointed this out in the other videos as well, but when you first encounter a Ryuka device, it won't it won't be blue like the one there is. It will actually be yellow. So you won't be looking for these um, yellow top towers initially. They'll turn blue when you've actually unlocked them. So, once you've got the Ryuka for Grinacost, the next one you want to be looking for is the Steer Camp, which Story will actually take you to originally. So when you enter in this region, you'll be in a story quest and essentially this story quest will lead you on the path towards the steer camp. So you may actually need to come back and get this um, Ryuka device, I can't remember now. You, you may be able to unlock it in the story quest, but I can't remember 100%. So you may need to come back and unlock this. So on the map now, if we look, there is actually a region mag really near here. You may, again, you may need to come back again for this though, which is the one on Strawball Isle. So for him, from here, you just want to head along the coast and you might be able to see in the distance there's this little island with what looks like coral growing all over it and that's Strobel Isle. So you can just swim through the water or walk across it as a case might be. <laughs> and you can you should be able to just see the region mag jumping around in the distance over there. You do need to be slightly careful because there is a veteran enemy that spawns over here. Which it wouldn't surprise me if it does aggro because it does quite often. This is actually a great part of the map as well because it has loads of nodes for gathering minerals and there's a lot of um, little sea slugs, these guys, that you can pick up as well. So you use these for quick food and the minerals you use obviously for different crafting, you know, for adding things to your, to your weapons. But you can see just looking around here that every one of these little red markings that the rangers put a weak bullet on is a separate node for, for uh, mining minerals so it's a really really good area for it. I tend to find that in Steer that a lot of the um, gathering deposits are really really close together. I just jump over here and you can see straight away is this region mag which I'm actually going to use because I actually need to unlock it. I need to actually use it today. So that's your first region mag. So from here you go over to the coast and just check your map again. 
Just to point out, there is actually a tower on the opposite side, more or less directly opposite to where the region mag is. So if you're looking for skill points and the towers and cocoons, there is actually a tower there as well. So you just want to head to the coast again. You could even warp straight back to the, the Ryuka, which is what I'm going to do. Again, from Grena Coast, the path that leads directly up here from it, you literally just follow the path. There is a lot of enemies around here, so you do need to be somewhat careful. When you first get here, they'll be probably be slightly higher level than you as well. It's not difficult or anything, it's just something to be aware of. Just follow this long path up. Yeah, Stee is a much more compact region than the others. A lot of the areas are a lot closer together. Just keep following the path. Eventually it'll split and you can go left out and go straight on. If you go left, that'll actually take you up towards another area. So you actually just want to head straight on. This will take you into the, the hub for the Steer region, which is Steer Camp. So just come in here, and it, the Ryuka device is just on the left when you walk in. Just here. I'm actually just going to quickly cook some food as well, because the dailies are up, so I may as well do it while I'm here. So this is Steer Camp, so it's a very, very small hub. Um, in comparison to the others, it's kind of a similar size to Caveris, but probably even smaller than that. So from here, the next area you want to go to, when you go through story, essentially it will lead you through the different areas of Steer, um, and you will unlock the areas as you go. So from here, I believe the next area you normally go to is Dryzen Plant. So you can see here that it's just here on the map. But it's, it's actually in an enclosed area, so you can't actually get to it from the outside. You need to actually find the entrance to it. So the entrance for Dryzen is if you go out of the steer camp and take this path up to the, the right and just follow it up. So again, there's another veteran over there. Just keep following the path and you can see this large structure here with the door. Again, there's a lot of gathering nodes around here as well. Mainly for Dualamite and Pentalite. And you can see this um, locked door here actually takes you, it teleports you to Dryzen Plants. So this brings you into Dryzen Plant, and this is normally how you'll get into it in the story as well. So once you're in Dryzen Plant, there are actually two Ryuka devices in here, and there's a region mag in here as well. So the first Ryuka device is more or less straight on. Just a little word of caution, you do need to be slightly careful in Dryzen Plant, because there are a lot of veteran enemies in here. And also, you might be able to see on the map, there's a lot of purple icons. Um, so Steer has this unique mechanic where it has what are called um, Gigant Recons or Recon Gigants and they're essentially um, gigantic versions of normal enemies that patrol around the maps. Um, you can find them for things like the Gunblaze items and Infernium. Um, so they are worth doing but just be aware they do patrol around the maps and they do hit really hard so just be careful if you are coming here. For the first Ryuki you just want to take this updrafter and you can see it just over there. So this is the first Ryuka device in Dryzen Plant. Then Dryzen Plant 2 is, it's like to the west of it. If you look at it on the map, you can see the outline of the plant and it's to like the west part of the map. You can see it just up there on that ridge. So again, just use all the updrafters. You wonder why my mag is pinging like crazy. It's because in Dryzen Plant there's another hidden mechanic um, called hidden boxes. So there are certain boxes on the map that are actually invisible until you get really close to them. And your mag will ping to let you know where they are. This is the Ryuka for Dryzen Plant 2. So the only other thing in Dryzen Plant is the, um, the region mag. 
There is actually also, while I'm here, there is also actually the yellow Battle Deer portal as well. So Dryzen Plant basically has everything. There's also a Cocoon here as well. So the region mag is more towards the north of Dryzen Plant. Again, sometimes use these little updraft parts here. Never the easiest thing to find the region magnet here. It's always really awkward to find. So what I'll do for this actually is I'll, I'll teleport to it and show you where to get to it from there. I know it's up on one of the uh, the raised sections. Just trying to figure out how to get to it again. Ah, right. Yeah, that's that's why. So there is a region mag in Dries and Plants. Um, it just looks like I haven't actually unlocked it on this character yet. Um, so this region mag, although it looks like it's in the plant, is actually outside of it. Um, and it looks on the map like it's actually in the plant, but it's actually on like the ground above. So you get the way you get to that, if you're wondering, is when you come out of Dries and Plant, there's actually a little warp in Dries and Plant that will actually bring you out here. So it's just up there for the second region mag. So what we'll do then is um, I may as well unlock this at the same time. So we'll actually go and try and find the region mag now. Surprised I haven't unlocked it actually. I know that it is up on one like the um the raised areas. I believe it's over here somewhere. Put it the other side. I know it's on one of like these race sections with these tubes. There's a red box up there as well. <laughs> So just over here actually is the yellow battle deer. So that's where you unlock the steer yellow battle deer. And there's also a cocoon down there. And you can you might be able to see in the distance the um the recon dragon to so just over there as well. Yeah, so there's the region mag. I knew it was on one of these raised areas. I can't believe I hadn't actually unlocked it on this character. She's been capped for months. <laughs> I think it's because when Dryzen was the like, the hot area to be, I didn't replay this character. Yeah, so there we go. So that's where it is. So if I look at it on the map, just towards the like the south of Dryzen, so there's essentially something at most of the compass points of Dryzen. You've got the region mag at the south, 
uh, Ryuka at the west, and there's a region like above ground at the north, Battle Deer at the east, and then there's another like central um, Ryuka as well. So, once you've done Dryzen, you need to actually find the way out. So, there are around Dryzen, there are these little teleport areas that you can actually get out of Dryzen as well. Normally, quite low on the ground. They look like um, like circular platforms. You may have noticed by now, but Dryzen is probably one of the biggest areas in the game. It doesn't look it on the map when you first come here, but it's over several levels, so it, it's actually a huge area. Yeah, so there's one there. So these little areas here, these are teleporters in and out of Dryzen. Where does this one take me? So this goes to Mediola Outer Area 2, so let's go out of this and see where it takes us. Yeah, so this actually is a slightly different exit. So where this brings you out is at the east of Dryzen, which is actually where you'll come out in story, because in story, the next place you'll go to is called Dex Base. So in Steer, there are um, there are two combat areas. You've got Dex Base, which has two Ryukas. It's also, again, another huge area. And then you've also got um, news, uh, Noise and Plant. So Noise and Plant, you'll normally unlock a bit later in the game. And there's a special way to get into there as well. So to get to Dex base, from that exit of Dryzen plant, you literally just want to cross the bridge. And this will bring you straight into Dex base. Is Steer the area for kills today? Because I may as well do that while I'm here. Uh, no, it's early, that's fine. So when you come into Dex base, on the right hand side here, you've got the first Ryuka device. The second one is actually a bit of a run. It's right at the other end of Dex Base, so you just want to head northeast. Dex Base is very, very different to Dryzen Plant, though. Um, Dryzen Plant isn't actually a combat sector, even though there's a lot of enemies there. It's actually an exploration sector. But um, Dex Base is a lot different because it's it's very sort of spread out over a big area, where Dryzen Plant is a uh, much more vertical area. Okay, and just keep heading northeast. Eventually, you just follow on the path. If I remember correctly, I believe that the second Ryuka is actually on top of the building. It's been a long time since I've been here, so... Uh, yes, it is. It's just up here. So once you get to here, there's a couple of ways to get to it. The easiest one is just take the updrafter. And then just on top of this building is the second Ryuka for Dex Burst. Just a quick note, actually, um, this reminds me on. So, as you can see, De um, Steer region has a lot of lava areas in it. So, in Caveris, there was an area where you actually had to use an item to prevent you taking cold damage. For some reason, that doesn't apply in Steer. There's there's no risk from lava unless you actually go in it. Um, you don't have to take anything to like, reduce heat damage or anything like that. It's literally just don't go in the lava. So, that's Dex Base, and you can see it is a huge part of the Steer region. And again, what you'll notice about the Sea region is, compared to the other regions, it is quite small. And also, a lot of the map just isn't used. Um, all of this area here just has nothing in it yet. It may get added later on, but at the minute there's nothing in it. A lot of it isn't actually accessible. So after Dex Base, um, you'll then go to uh, Mediola Out Area 2 to Altera Base. So from here, the easiest way to get there is probably to go from the, um, the region mag. So from the region mag, you head down here, you need to be very, very careful because it's actually a Gigantix that was down there. <laughs> Just disappeared now though. So again, this is the Warped Rising plant where you came from before. That's another way you can get to here. And basically, you just want to head straight, like, straight over the bridge more or less. I know that on the map, it does look like there's another Ryuka right here. 
there is, but you won't actually be able to access it yet um, in story. Yet you have to come back to it later on. So at this point in the story, you go from the region mag and just head over the base, uh, over the bridge, and this will take you into Alter Abyss. You just want to watch out in steer as well because you do get weather conditions where these lava rocks will drop. You can actually pick them up and throw them back at enemies, but they will explode if you hold them for too long. This is the Ryuka for Alter Abyss. Now from here, there is a cocoon actually just more or less over that little hill. I'll show you that quickly. So just over there. There's also a lot of gathering areas around here as well. After here, the next area you will go to is um, Felissa Bridge. So Felissa Ridge. Again, if you go from the region mag. So there are two Ryukas for Felissa Ridge. First one is more or less just over this ridge here. So behind the region mag. There is, again, there's a veteran enemy here. So I'm just going to have to run past it, unfortunately. And then immediately go over the ridge again. Again, there's a lot of gathering nodes for different materials around here as well. Just over here is the first Ryuk device for Felissa Ridge. So if you look on the map, we're now at Felissa Ridge 1. So when you get to Felissa Ridge, you'll have this bridge over. And initially when you get here in Story, you won't actually be able to cross this bridge because over that ridge is actually the, the last place in Steer that you go to in Story. But eventually you will actually get to a point where you can go there. So once you can go there, what you want to do is you want to just head more or less over this bridge. I won't spoil what's here um, for anyone who hasn't done the story, but um, yeah, it's, it's quite an important place in the story, this. You can probably tell. So over here, there are a couple of things to know about around here. So first of all, this area in here has a teleporter. Um, that is the teleporter that takes you to Noise and Plant. Um, I will I will show you that again in a minute. That was very rude. <laughs> Another thing to know is if you come off the path, you can stand on this area here. It's only the actual floor and lava that you can't really stay in too long. If you just keep jumping over around here, if the weather conditions are really bad, you can actually get, um, there's actually an extra node around here. But just around here, there is a node. This only appears during bad weather. Uh, and it's a node for Infernium, which is actually a really useful material. So well worth getting. From here, if you head sort of northeast, you'll come to Felissa Ridge 2. You can actually just about see it from here. Um, just over, more or less where that green rest of sign is there. Um, if you look in the distance, there is another Ryuka there. That's the Dex base Ryuka. The Felissa Ridge one's just nearby that. Just a little note, actually. If you do spot any of these, these are a seasonal thing. Um, so there's a seasonal event on the moment for the second anniversary of NGS. And these are what are called mischief symbols. They don't really do anything. They just glow when you touch them. But over there you can see Dex Base. And from here, the Felisa Ridge Ryuka that you want, Felisa Ridge 2, is just kind of northeast. Mostly north. Not the easiest terrain to cover, but um, you, you, know, you can get through it. When you come over here, there is the Ryuka for Felisa Ridge 2. Also around here, during the I can't if it's during the day or during the night, you get some special mushroom pickups that are here. They're like a rare gatherable. So finally, the, the last area in Steer is a noise and plant. So for noise and plant, the way you get to it, as I've said before, is you just want to look for the you know the big central tower. Some of the areas are quite hard to scale, but there are these like little step staircases that you can go up that make it a lot easier to get up. Again, be a little bit careful of the lava. 
It doesn't hurt you like incredibly fast, but it adds up. So again, once you come in here, this will take you to um, an area in story, but you, you come back here later on to actually unlock this portal. Because when you first get here, this portal won't take you to Noise and Plant as such. It'll take you to... It is an area of Noise and Plant, but it's a part you only go to in story. So when you actually want to come back to the area, you have to come back here again and go for the teleporter. Apologies if this is a bit of a confusing video. The way Steer is laid out, it's quite confusing the way it unlocks. You can see, as soon as you walk in, you've got a, a portal back to Mediola Outer Area 1, which is just where I was. And all you need to do is just run up this little ramp to the right, and there's a Ryuka device there for Noise and Plant. The Noise and Plant's quite an interesting combat area. So this is the second combat area of Steer, and it has a unique mechanic in it where... Every time you, I think it's every time you have a PSE burst or every couple of PSE bursts, the mechanics will change so different things can happen in here. So at the moment you can see we've got these like yellow discs. What these do is if you use them, they attract enemies and then explode after a little while. So they're like decoys. And it also spawns these blue sign crystals, um, which they regenerate your PP when you take them. Then that might change after a little while and it can change to things like you can get traps that go off every so often that you can... You dodge at the right time you'll send like a shockwave that hits loads of enemies um there's quite a few different modifiers it can do it can increase your stats in various ways and it just changes constantly the other interesting thing about this area is it can have enemies from all different areas so it's not just steer enemies that appear here so at the moment if i try and look i think at the minute it is steer enemies here but there are um you can get early enemies you can get return enemies here you can get various enemies here so it's a bit of a unique area. That more or less covers it for Steer. Um, there is also, there is actually a, a battle deer as well. Um, since I'm here, I will I will just quickly show you how to get the, the battle deer as well. Again, it looks like it's right next to the yellow battle deer, but it isn't. It, because this is in Dryzen Plant, this is outside. So if I go to Felicity Ridge 2 again. I just feel I may as well show this because Steer is a smaller area. There's also um, a special area down here, so this large open area down here has two functions. First one is it's a location for one of the urgent quests where you fight Doldoris Vera. And the other thing is um, you can get various different gigantics spawned down here. So you can actually get um, a special gigantics that can spawn down there called Malevolent Vardis, um, and that's where it normally spawns. So from here, get to the purple battle deer. Pretty much south. Again, it's not the easiest terrain to traverse because there is a lot of lava and a lot of cliffs. Yeah, so that emergency that was announced there, if that was for Doldoris Vera, it would take place just in that open area down there. Again, you're just more or less flanking the volcanoes over here, and the purple battle deer is just down here. So, just here. So that is all of the um, Ryuka devices, region mags, and the battle deers for this Steer region. There are also a few cocoons here. There's honestly not that many in Steer, though. Steer is a, is a very small area in comparison to the others. Um, it won't take you long at all to find all of the Ryukas. So with that, that covers all of the different four areas. There is technically a fifth area in Story as well. Um, I will just cover very, very briefly. Um, if I can see it from here. Yeah, so this um, floating tower. So this tower in the sky that you can see here is uh, an island called La Seal. Um, you'll actually unlock that during Story and you will actually go there at one point. Um, I won't spoil anything about it, but um, it is connected to Story. 
Um, however, there's no Ryuka devices or anything there. So you, once you've been there in story, you can't go back again. I have a feeling they'll probably make it accessible at a later date, for like an open battle area. But for the time being, once you've been there in story, you can't go back. Unless you rerun the story quest, which I don't know if you can do that. Um, but yeah, it was just a little a little side note. But yeah, don't worry about getting any Ryuka devices or region mags there because there are none. So with that, that's a look at all of the different regions in PSO2 NGS and all the region mags and the Ryuka devices. Hopefully this has been useful to at least someone. Um, if you do have any questions at all about PSO2 NGS, just leave them in the comments below and I will try and um, answer what I can. Um, so try and keep up to date with me on my social media if you want to keep... Um, and on what videos are coming down the line so you know, I'm mainly going to be looking at Monster Hunter and PS2 NGS for the time being so my Twitter is um, twitter.com slash section underscore skylight you can also catch me on Twitch occasionally at twitch.tv slash section skylight um, my streaming schedule is a bit up in the air at the moment just because I'm working a full time job so I'm trying to work around that at the moment um, but yeah feel free to catch me on there anytime for now though, if any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, I will try and answer what I can. And you know, hopefully this has been useful. And for now, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks now.